Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday, hump day. Got an exciting workout for you guys. Um, you may recognize this setup. It's a very, very old open workout, um, normally with burpees, but I decided to spice it up a little bit since we did burpees today. And we'll just get some barbell cycling and some uh, gymnastics practice in. So it should be an exciting Wednesday. Um, we are going to build again on our uh, tempo front squats. Okay, so the first week we did four sets of as many unbroken as you can do. Last set we did five with a little bit less rest um, or a shorter interval. Now today we're just going to accumulate uh, 30 total front squats. Same tempo, three seconds down. Excuse me, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Full pause, create tension, keep the chest up, and then explode out of the bottom. Okay, this is the most important part of the tempo is the descent, the pause, and then the explosion, right? We're building better front squat positioning by going slow, right? We're working on feeling the tension of the squat in the bottom with the pause, and then we're working on the explosive tissue, explosive tendency out of the bottom. One, um, so you can get comfortable driving out of the bottom, but two, teaching your body how to recruit uh, more musculature to drive out of the bottom from a dead stop. Normally we bounce, we have that stretch reflex, right? So our body can rely on um, other muscles helping or the, the stretch of the muscle, right? The tension in the muscle to help us drive out of the bottom, which is amazing, but we can improve that and get stronger with that uh, by causing this pause and then forcing our body to actually recruit more fibers and, and learn how to be stronger, right? From a dead stop, we're not using momentum. So match the same load. Uh, we should have been doing anywhere between five and eight reps. I think it was pretty realistic. Uh, people were doing five, maybe six on a couple sets. So this should take somewhere between, you know, five and six sets tomorrow. Maybe we've made progressions over the last two weeks, right? The front squat form is feeling better. The, the legs are feeling stronger. And maybe you can rip off maybe a seven or an eight or whatever on the first set. Get a little bit ahead and that's great. Okay, we're just going to go for unbroken sets with perfect tempo and perfect form. So as soon as the form breaks down, uh, you wanna rack the bar. You do get a full two minute rest. I think last week we did every two and a half minutes and the squats were taking about 45 seconds. So you really only got about a minute, 45 second rest last week. So you get 15 seconds extra rest, which is a pretty big deal, which might allow us to go um, a little bit bigger on the front squats. Okay, just maintain perfect posture, perfect form. Got dinner in my mouth and uh, Accumulate 30 reps total. Okay, and then the AMRAP 17 minutes a long one. There is a lot of work So there's meant to be a lot of volume right at a nice smooth consistent pace the entire time the barbell weight will increase um, The toes to bar do decrease which just means that as you go along this workout um, You spend a little bit more time on the barbell Than the toes to bar so we have to make sure we choose appropriate weights for each one find the right stimulus so we can hopefully get into the third barbell um, I don't know if it's even possible to get to the fourth. It's very hard in the open workout itself, but I teeter with the weights a little bit because I wanted us to get a lot of volume and then hopefully have a chance to get into the later rounds. So 70 minutes, 40 toes to bar. Okay, the snatch weight should be very, very light for everybody. This first barbell should be something that you could do in, in probably, I mean, fresh, probably three sets. Coming off the toes to bar, obviously midline and grip are going, and shoulders are going to be uh, much more fatigued. So make sure that you can do a minimum of 10 on your first set here with this weight. Okay, any more than that, fantastic. Um, but we don't want to be dropping this barbell because the weight is too heavy and we're bogged down. The only reason we should be breaking here is because you know we're uh, not trying to go too deep into fatigue. Maybe our heart rate's a little bit high and you take a break, let the muscles flush. But it should be something that you can just pick up and probably honestly muscle snatch or maybe just a really, really small power snatch. Be very light, very movable, okay? Probably three to four sets to get this done, to be completely honest. Um, should be relatively quick. Mm, delicious water. Okay, um, then we're going to drop the toes to bar by 10, 30 toes to bar, and then we're going to do 30 snatches, a little bit heavier weight. Um, should be a weight that you can still hold on to for maybe five to six reps. Doesn't mean that you have to. Doesn't mean that it would be advantageous to do that. Um, you're going to have a lot of fatigue. 70 toes to bar is a lot. Hanging on to the snatch bar, your forearms are going to be pretty ripped, so you probably just want to do quick singles here. But something that you can, right, snatch, drop, reset, snatch, drop, and be pretty much right on the bar. It shouldn't be anything overpowering. Again, we shouldn't be um, stopping on this bar at all second round either because it's too heavy. It's just going to be overall fatigue. Okay, um, 20 toes to bar. And then we get a little bit more aggressive in our weight jump here. Um, definitely should be doing singles here. 
Okay, it's 30 reps. It's a lot. I assume the workout is probably going to be somewhere, excuse me, somewhere around here for most people, just because the amount of volume on the toes to bar, the amount of volume on the snatches, and getting through 30 here is quite a tall task. Okay, so uh, this is where you can challenge yourself on the weight a little bit, since you're probably going to be spending most of the workout here, singling these out, working on good power snatch form. Um, and just getting some good heavy or moderate barbell work in here, okay? And if so, you happen to finish 10 toes to bar, and then the final bar, snatch bar um, is probably something that you might even potentially have to squat snatch. Doesn't mean you have to squat snatch it, but it should be, again, a challenging weight to where you might need to go to the squat snatch if everything is fatigued, you don't have that good pull, okay? So it's a lot of time to get done. Stimulus-wise, time frame wise 40 toes to bar, whatever movement we choose here. Hopefully fresh, three, two, one, go. We can knock this out and, I mean... It's all across the board. If we're doing fives here, that's what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 8 sets. Okay, 8 to 10 sets here. Um, we're looking probably a couple minutes on the toes to bar. Snatches should be relatively quick, maybe 90 seconds, 3.5 minutes. You know, you do have to make weight changes. Another couple minutes here, 5. There's probably going to be at least 3, probably 4 minutes, 9, 10 minutes. You know, another minute, minute and a half, 11, 12 minutes, right? And then you're definitely going to probably take at least five minutes to get this done. So that's looking at the 17 minutes right there. So I think your goal for the day would be getting into this barbell snatch and getting as many as you can done. That'll be a good goal for today. Okay, once again, I rambled. You know me. Wolfman loves to talk about workouts because I enjoy CrossFit and programming. And I hope you guys do too. Have a great Wednesday, and we'll see you in the gym. Bye.